find the path of distinct positive integers x and y such that x cubed minus y cubed equals x minus y all to the power of four. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. There are two variables and one equation. So there might be more than one pair of solutions. Finding one pair answers the question. Simplifying a given equation is a starting point to solving the problem. Clearly, x equals y is a set of solutions. However, the problem asks for distinct positive integers. So we assume x doesn't equal y. Let's y equal x minus c. d doesn't equal zero and substitute y in the equation. The equation can be simplified to a quadratic equation in terms of x. Find the condition for x to be integers. Then find a pair of positive integers x and y that satisfy the equation. Let y equal x minus d where d doesn't equal zero. Substitute y in x cubed minus y cubed equals x minus y all to the power of four. We have x cubed minus x minus d all cubed equals d to the power of four. Simplifying this, we have x cubed minus x cubed minus three x squared d plus 3xd squared minus b cubed equals d to the power of 4. Simplifying this, we have d times 
3x squared minus 3xd plus b squared equals d to the power of 4. Because d doesn't equal 0. So 3x squared minus 3xd plus b squared equals d to the power of 3. So 3x squared minus 3dx plus b squared minus b cubed equals 0. x equals 3d plus minus root of 3d all squared minus 4 times 3 times d squared minus d cubed over 6. Simplifying this, we have 3d plus minus root of 12d cubed minus 3d squared over 6. Which is equal to 3d plus minus d root of 12d minus 3 over 6. For x to be an integer, 12d minus 3 must be a perfect square. If d equals 1, we have 12d minus 3 equals 3 squared. x equals 3 plus minus 3 over 6. So either x equals 0 and y equals minus 1 as y equals x minus d or x equals 1, in which case y equals 0, because xy equals 0 minus 1, or xy equals 1, 0, are not distinct positive integers. So these sets of solutions are discarded if d equals 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6, 12d minus 3 isn't a perfect square. If d equals 7, we have 12d minus 3 equals 1 squared. x equals 3d plus minus 9d over 6 equals 21 plus minus 63 over 6. Choosing the positive value, we have x equals 14, y equals x minus d, which is equal to 14 minus 7 equals 7. Substitute x equals 14. 
y equals seven in x cubed minus y cubed equals x minus y all to the power of four. We have x cubed minus y cubed equals 14 cubed minus seven cubed, which can be written as two times seven or cubed minus seven cubed. Two times seven or cubed is equal to two cubed times seven cubed, which is equal to eight times seven cubed. So we can write eight times seven cubed minus seven cubed, which is equal to seven times seven cubed, which is equal to seven to the power of four. which is equal to 14 minus seven or to the power of four, which is equal to X minus Y or to the power of four. So X, Y equals 14, seven, it's a power of distinct positive integers such that x cubed minus y cubed equals x minus y or to the power of four. Can you find other paths of distinct positive integers x and y? such that x cubed minus y cubed equals x minus y all to the power of four. Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems, such as this one. Find a pair of integers x and y such that x minus y equals root x minus root y all cubed, where x is greater than y greater than a hundred. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. If you have any mathematics questions of interest, you can write these in the comments section if you like. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.